Making software is really complicated. It takes time and money. And the most costly aspect is of course the code. Developers on average cost more per hour than designers, artists, copywriters, and often even their own managers. Therein lies the opportunity for product designers to have tremendous impact. Imagine that you could look into the future and divine for your team the level of satisfaction that a customer might have from a given product. Now, time travel isn't real, sadly, but what is real is the opportunity to craft a prototype to understand the most glaring pitfalls of your design and fix the problems before they get to that very costly and time-consuming development phase. With that in mind, we'll want to find some useful tools for this endeavor. Yes, paper prototypes work well in many cases, and if you have access to a fast, talented front-end developer who can whip up prototypes for you, you're incredibly lucky. But for the rest of us, here are some of the best tools that you can use to create digital prototypes for your next product. InVision. Founded in 2011, InVision was valued at $1.9 billion as of 2018. Their team is known for being very hands-on with their corporate clients, and their current offering compares favorably to most on this list, with a big emphasis on collaboration and enterprise solutions. Their most banged on about features include their Sketch integration, their own Sketch competitor tool in Vision Studio, which has some advanced animation techniques, and their design system manager. I experienced their hands-on approach myself back in 2018, despite being all the way out in deepest Southeast Africa. Licenses start at just 95 US dollars a year or 995 a month. And for that, you'll receive a single place to design your UI, create click-through prototypes and some decently advanced animations, as well as a place to store your UI guidelines and a way to hand over to dev with ease. Adobe XD. The relatively young upstart within the all consuming behemoth that is Adobe has the distinct advantage of being forcibly available on any machine with an existing Creative Cloud license. My personal opinion is that it's... It's okay. It's by far the least impressive prototyping tool that I've used, but it's simple enough, it's easy to learn, and if this is your first time making a prototype, probably a safe bet. Their most banged on about features are their repeat grid, 3D transform, auto animate, general ease of use, and ease of sharing. If you're not currently paying the 60 plus dollars a month for a full Creative Cloud license, you'll be charged 11.49 a month or 115 a year for a single product license. Actual P. The year is 2002. The best-selling mobile phone is the Nokia 6100, and the iPhone wouldn't be a thing for another five years. A small team in the Bay Area comes up with the concept of Actual RP. The RP standing for Rapid Prototyping. But rapid back then is painfully slow 19 years later, where the product finds itself lagging behind its competitors in many key areas. It has by far the most severe learning curve, and although you can do incredible things with the fully customizable conditional logic, it's clear that Aksha was built to create prototypes and documentation for software and websites, not mobile apps. Aksha is great if you have a large, slow-moving web or software project that requires incredibly accurate testing feedback that involves text input and complex conditional logic. But honestly, they had at least a decade head start on most of the list, and this is where they are today. Many designers swear by this tool, but far more swear at it. Nothing comes close to the detailed conditional logic and customizability of events and triggers, though Protopy and Proto.io and a few others are closing in. Aksha starts at $300 a year or $29 a month, making it tied with protopie.io for the most expensive subscription on this list. Protopie. Protopie uses conditional logic and advanced animation timelines to create incredible prototypes. The career-based company boasts some impressive features including voice prototyping, which is a fantastic way to show the value of conversational UI to your stakeholders. For those of us who care about the mental well-being of our developers, they even have a feature called Interaction Recipes, which allows you to export not just the CSS code, but the exact values associated with your animation, i.e. the recipe. This means devs are less likely to murder you in your sleep, which, as we all know, is a plus. It integrates with Figma, XD, Sketch, and offers support for camera layers, so you can include device cameras 
in your prototype. You can even add sound to your prototypes, which is a feature I definitely will be abusing the first chance I get. They also boast compatibility with a wide array of Internet of Things things, though most of these advanced integrations would need to be part of an enterprise agreement. The cheapest subscription to Protopi will set you back $129 a year or $13 a month. Proto.io I heard you liked features, so they put some features on your features. They've got some great templates, an awesome list of possible events and interactions, but uniquely, they use a system of screen states rather than a timeline approach, which definitely is a more modern way of thinking about software, not as a new page, but as different states of the same page. Proto.io will set you back $288 a year or $29 a month, but they do offer a 15-day free trial. Framer. When Framer started in 2014, the UI capabilities were fairly limited, and you very quickly found yourself having to use a scripting language called CoffeeScript to get what you needed out of it. Since then, they've certainly improved their codeless capabilities. However, if you're doing anything more advanced than a few flashy screen animations, you're likely to find yourself looking up code snippets to try and fix your problem. Even for veteran designers, this one might be a little too techy, but with complexity comes incredible opportunity. They also have gamepad support for some reason. The free plan gets you unlimited views, up to two editors and three projects. For paid plans, it's $240 a year or $25 a month. Principle. Principle is a Mac only app and the only one on this list that offers perpetual once-off licenses. And at just $129 US dollars, it's cheaper than most yearly subscriptions, boasting features that are in some ways comparable to those of Protopi and Proto.io, timeline-based animations, gesture control, and a few features that I haven't seen elsewhere, including options to record a walkthrough of your prototype. Oh Mitchell, you knobhead, didn't you know Adobe XD does video export as well? Sketch. Sketch really kickstarted the mini UI software revolution that helped designers break the chains of designing websites in Photoshop. And in recent years, they've improved their Sketch Preview and Sketch Cloud tools that make it relatively painless to make simple click-throughs and there's nothing special here, so let's move on. Sketch is gonna set you back $9 a month or $99 a year, and they do have a free 30-day trial. Figma. Like Sketch, prototyping isn't Figma's flagship feature, but according to the uxtools.co 2020 survey we mentioned earlier, Figma is the most widely used design tool today in most categories surveyed. Figma is narrowly beaten out in one category, that being brainstorming and ideation by Miro. Although bear in mind, Figma didn't have a brainstorming and ideation tool, at least until about last month, about April 2021. So this is clearly the crowd favorite of the day. It does almost everything that Sketch, Envision, Abstract, and Zeppelin do, combined into one product at a reasonable price. The prototyping is just good enough that you can do basic click-through tests with a few interesting animations, but nothing mind-blowing. UXPIN UXPIN is a talented underdog, and they know it. In fact, on their website, you'll find a footer section where they compare themselves to eight of the 10 products on this list, as well as a few others. UXPIN's merge feature seeks to be the single source of truth for product teams. They seem to have their sights on solving the inherent problem in prototyping which is that once you've developed a prototype, often your developers get to redesign everything again from scratch. The most tools talked about here do have some sort of reference that allows developers to copy code directly from the source. They're planning on even allowing users to import HTML code and automatically sync React.js components to UXPIN from your repository. The last time I used UXPIN was 2014. Back then it was web only, but I learned pretty quickly how to get a prototype up and running. And since then, the team has grown and improved the product substantially to include built-in libraries, interactive form elements, components, databases, real-time collaboration, states and variables, conditional interactions, expressions, page transitions, sketch import, and much more. Though they don't have a massive following compared to some of the other tools, 
most of their users don't feel the need to go outside of UXPIN for prototyping, UI design, or dev handover. So when picking the right tool for your team, here are some questions you might want to consider. Will I need to use some text in this? Will I need people to type things into this prototype? Am I making prototypes that require conditional logic like error states that show if a user gets a password wrong, for example? And perhaps most importantly, will I need such fancy prototyping techniques like conditional logic? Or will it suffice to just have a click through prototype? And lastly, if you're bankrolling this endeavor yourself, it's worth considering the minimum buy-in price and what free features each product has. Congratulations on making it to the end. Please like and subscribe, and thanks very much. Bullshit. Bullshit. Derivative. That I love. I absolutely love. Um, that's just a pile of paper? I want it. It's everything.